All right, guys, welcome to the last, my last uh, go in Romans. Scott's going to come after me and finish out Romans. I wanted to read this uh, to you from, from my Bible. It kind of summarizes a little bit of what we've been talking about. It says, the truly godly person never forgets that he was at one time an object of God's holy and just wrath. He never forgets that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners and he feels along with Paul that he is himself the worst sinner. But then as he looks to the cross, he sees that Jesus was his atoning sacrifice. He sees that Jesus bore his sins in his own body and that the wrath of God, the wrath which he, a sinner, should have borne, was extended completely and totally upon the Holy Son of God. And in this view of Calvary, he sees the love of God. What a, what a bigger sacrifice. Everyone out there with children, I mean, what, what a, to send your only son is just, hmm. All right, uh, Romans 8, 28 was um, the verse I went to, and it says, uh, and we, we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose. And I think his purpose is what we all live under, his purpose for our lives. My reveal, my biggest takeaway is all things. When all things are said, it does not say some things or a few things. This gives us 100% without a doubt confidence that all things, good or bad, are under God's control. He even makes the sufferings, or he even makes the sufferings work together for our good and his good. God manages our lives because we are all called according to his purpose. I still go back to all things means each and every circumstance we experience, even pain and suffering. I believe God's ultimate good for us is glorifying us in eternity. And guys, I say it, I just say it many times. Um, in, in my walk, it took a breakdown of my daughter to write me a letter to tell me to be a better person and a better dad and a better husband. That was the same year, eight months before my wife Patricia was taken up into heaven uh, in, a, in a car accident. So <clears throat> if you look at what my daughter gave me in a letter to make me realize I needed to be a better person and the reason I needed to be a better person as I didn't have Christ in my life. I, did, I wasn't living as uh, a good Christian should live. And what a wake up call when your daughter calls you out, but preparing me, preparing my heart, preparing my mind, preparing my Christian walk to deal with the loss of my wife of 18 years uh, immediately um, on a Sunday night after we had gone to church Sunday afternoon and gone to lunch and had a regular day. And uh, he, the preparing of my heart and when it says it's it, um, be glorified in concern because it, it's the ultimate good of God. Uh, a lot of things have come out of that day. Um, I got in his grip. Um, I, I've got a great relationship with uh, my faith. Uh, I've got a new set of friends in the community with within his grip, living a different life, showing my children how to live a faith-based, God-centered, God-centered life. And I, I think that's going to carry them on um, nicely through their marriages and, and getting and having children. So for 
the pain and suffering that God puts us through, you've got to look at the wonderful things that may or may not happen from that, but typically, uh, at least in my world, uh, happened from um, that tragedy uh, as far as what, what it gave me to want to be a better person and to have her say, well done, good and faithful servant. So I think um, God is in all of us. He's in our hearts. He gives us the, the biggest gift, which was his son, and then he gives us grace. Um, we have to use all those tools to be able to get through some of the tougher times. We just can't thank him for the good, is what I'm trying to say. We have to thank him for the pain and suffering also, uh, because it, it is his will and his authority over our lives. Guys, Romans has been uh, amazing, and I'm going to tell you, read it. Read Romans. It, it gives you everything that you need to feel uh, love, the love of God. All right, I'll see you next month.